Okay, we're at Hotel Morales in Guadalajara, and way too soon. I still have plenty of comments to reply to. I'm not ready to get out, not ready to be done. You're welcome. I'll get you there on time. <laughs> Trisha gets oh. you there on time. They put a five star, five stars right under their name, and I thought they were joking, but there is an inside pool. This place is amazing. Okay, put one in. This is awesome. Check this out. Okay, you have to put it in right here. And the electricity works. Oh, wait. You gotta keep it in. Keep it, wait, I have to keep it in? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You are like my best friend. That's yes. awesome. You have a, thank you That's so okay. much. Thank you. It's thank okay. You. It's okay. My pleasure. I don't know what it is about hotels, but it turns our boys into complete it's like they've never seen a light switch, a curtain, or some sort of roll away bed. They're running right around. <laughs> they're, they're running around, hitting light switches, turning on and off the TV and the air conditioning. Like, oh, look at these curtains. Look, look at how they close. Not, that is Caleb. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. A hotel room for these kids is like showing them fire for the first time. That is uh, very that's true. Pretty true. That's pretty that's true. That's pretty true. <laughs> Uno, uno de tres. What was uno de tres again? palabras. Calabra. Una Calabra. de tres palabras. Sí, okay. sí, sí, sí. Yo, hablar despacio, comprender más. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, aquí, la que paque. Sí. Caminar. Ok. Esa calle es donde está galerías, uh, restaurantes, artesanía. Ahorita, mucha artesanía, no. Ya es, ya es tarde. Yeah, mucho gracias. Okay, gracias, hasta luego. Talking to so many uh, Mexicans that are trying to learn English, we've learned that the best thing to do is to take one word at a time. And so when we're speaking with them, we say like, I walk to the you know, market. And you can see their eyes light up and you know that they're, they're understanding because we take one word at a time. And he spoke exactly like that. It was fantastic. Although. I told him that we only knew one out of three words, uh, and he understood that, and so, it, but it worked. I mean, did you understand what he was saying? Because he spoke slow, and he used simple words. We just met this awesome family and uh, this gentleman here just gave me the hat off his head. <laughs> I need to know your name. John, pleasure to meet you. I like to be playing the guy playing the music because I don't really want to do that up there. They just like left off the top and started spinning around. As much as I like to be on dad's side, definitely not on dad's side. Um, we need a plan. I like mom's plan. Ice cream, food, sounds good to me. We're going to get a cab and we're going to sit in this cab to this destination pizzeria to so go get pasta and pizza and food, good food, because it has nine stars on Foursquare. Look at the Iglesia. We were just about to initiate the plan and then Trish saw this pizzeria right here and said, oh look at pizza, oh pasta. So now we have another plan that emerged.
there's there's a few things that require some level of concentration. Flying the drone, not overly difficult to do, but it, it does require some focus. And speaking Spanish, you know, because we're learning, it does require some level of focus. Now, flying the drone at 7 a.m. while having a conversation in Spanish with a homeless person, that is a new level that I have reached. Yes. See? See. Si. Uh, Leon was uh, very nice, very talkative. And um, it was difficult for me to understand exactly what he was saying. <laughs> I understood what Leon was saying. <laughs> what was Leon saying? If you were here, all the men would want to marry you, bring you to the church to marry you. Oh, you, huh? Yes, yeah, uh, because of your blonde hair, your blue eyes. Oh, yes. yes. Oh my gosh, how do you pick up all that? Well, mejor azul, blonde, a thing, oh. azul. Uh, oh, I was. It's Iglesia, um, and then this helps. <laughs> and then at one point he went to go pull down his pants and I was like, no, 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 no. I God. know, I know, I know. He was showing that. me a belt buckle underneath his thing to tell us that what part of Mexico he was from. But it was very alarming. And you can't leave because the drone is in the air. Well, and meanwhile, oh. the drone was getting disconnected because of all the magnets in the building around. The drone's getting disconnected. Now, when the drone gets disconnected, it has a feature to automatically come home. But the whole time it's flying home, when it says aircraft disconnected, aircraft disconnected, you're just sitting there helpless, just hoping it comes back. And then sure enough, I saw it come over. Anyway. Let's go get a cup of coffee. Let's get a cup of coffee. Hey, I hope you like that drone footage though. How about flying the oh drone my God. Through, the, through the towers in the Basilica or the drone flying through. Good, yeah, thumbs up. Where's this red bus, baby? I hold this. Looking for the red bus. Tori made a good point. She says it has a New York City vibe. I was gonna say Los Angeles because the city's a little lower, but when you're walking the streets, you can't really tell the scale of the height. And it does have a New York City vibe, don't you think? Oh my gosh, this is exactly it like feels, New York. It feels like you're walking through the streets of New York. Cars, everything, honk, you know, people walking around in suits and ties. Random cathedrals everywhere. Oh. Random cathedrals everywhere. Oh, you walk around the corner and then it just like presents itself. It's gorgeous. I would love to see it at night all lit up. There's even more dresses and it's gorgeous and I'm getting so many pictures and you just walk around the corner and it's everything. It's like all coming out of the ground and spectacular. take pictures and have fun. And post on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram posts. I don't know, it doesn't match your feed. Behind me, I have the red bus. We took the red bus on the Guadalajara Loop, and it's very good to get the lay of the land. However, I think that unless you're using it to transport yourself to the other side of town, get off and then get back on later, you might as well get a cab or somebody that knows something about the area. When we were in Tequilo, not only were we working with someone that could give us the history, but they gave us the cultural background. And I feel like that's what's missing on the red bus tour. But it's a great way to get from point A to point B. Okay, let's talk about food. Here is our plan for our traveling, because this is such a different way of traveling than we're used to by RV. But we've had a late breakfast around 10.30 or so, and we'd have a big late breakfast. And then, instead of doing lunch, a huge. right around three o'clock, we would have a snack and some cold drinks. That way we can delay dinner to like eight o'clock at night, and we're available for the golden hour to do like droning and shooting, and, and like when the temperature starts to drop. Yesterday, however, 
we didn't have our little snack and cold drinks. So by the time six, seven o'clock rolled around, we were all starving, and a few of us were a little hangry, if you know what I mean. They were a little tired and cranky. So we kind of missed the five to six o'clock hour to go eat, and everybody was kind of in a grumpy mood. So we're solving that today by getting some snacks. Snack is? Ice cream? Yeah, either ice cream or some cafe. Un cafe. How about, I think we're gonna do snacks. Well, what would you like? There's chips outside. Which, is that better? I actually think now what I'm gonna do is travel with cliff bars. Keep five or six cliff bars or kind bars, something, something that will hold us over. That way we don't have to find anything. Because finding snacks is a pain. And then there's so many opinions over what people want. Some watermelon. We're gonna put some lime on it and some salt. And sometimes they put pepper in it, but I don't think I like this kind of pepper. So I'm just gonna go salt and lemon. Snack update. We all have sandia cups. Did, did you happen to show them that you had a um, croissant filled with chocolate in the middle? Well, I was holding the camera then. Oh, because he makes fun of us for having a little froyo. That was before Trish found the sandia. Which so, I've been looking for, which I knew the exact location of. So there is a little bit of controversy in the group right now as to how to handle snacks. There's no controversy. It's just that like, here's the controversy that he only shows like the negative side. Doesn't That's show you true. that he's chocolate That's croissant. not true. You have okay. a little chocolate right here. <laughs> I do not. Here's what happened. We wanted to do a snack. And so then first we stopped and we got ice cream. It's yogurt, frozen. It's frozen yogurt. Then we went to go get pizza and I saw a croissant. And so I'm like, okay, well I'll have a croissant. I didn't eat pizza. I know you didn't. And now we're having a sandia. So snacking is taking an hour. Well, I just want to say, this is part of life. Enjoying <laughs> the moment. Uh, yeah, having yeah. a picnic. Let's go back to the hotel. But I just want to say that sometimes the vlog is a little one-sided. <laughs> you should probably come to me. Okay, let's take this vlog over. Official Placio de Gubernario. It's the government official office, and they're going to have murals of their history and the uprising and of Spain and conquering. Let's go check it out. This is awesome. That whole mural goes down from when you enter the stairs and it goes all the way up into the ceiling. So when you walk up the stairs, you have to look up. That is the coolest thing ever. Come on, come on. And you? A mí es... A mí, yo! Yo! A mí, a tú, a él. Niño? Niña? Niñita. Más chiquita. Señor, señor, joven, niño, señorita y señora. Jovens, jovens, jovens. Joven, ella es joven. No, you do him, do him. Ah, yo joven, yo. No. No. Gracias. Gracias. Bye. Bye. Good morning. We're going dress shopping for my prom dress in a quinceañera store.
Trish, come on. Stay in the game. Stay in the game. <laughs> I'll tell you. Amateur shoppers over here, you know, <laughs> they just don't have the stanima oh. that they do for men's men's shopping, which can take hours, days, days, <laughs> days. It could take me on Amazon, let's say. It could take me <laughs> anywhere from 20 minutes to 45 minutes in a single sitting mm -hmm. to, to get the right bathing suit. Yeah. I know. Not to mention going to the door and, and picking it up two days later when it comes through Amazon Prime. It's a lot of work. Do you it's do a, a lot warm of work. Up? Do you stretch before you get out of your chair? Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. Of course I stretch. <sighs> let's see how I have to stretch. <laughs> Like this. Sí, like this. Para sí. mostrarte la chalina, esa la, las chicas llegan a partir de las 10 que saben dónde están. Sí? Oh. E esa que tú dices es torera. Esa es torera. Uh. Let's get back to the money, the dinero. Sí? Sí? No, hablo inglés. <laughs> both proms? Both proms. How do, you, how do you go to both proms? I get invited to one of them. So you heard it right out of Tori's mouth. She's wearing that dress to both proms on video, captured. Well, Let me just get a pin real quick. It. We'll be all set. What is that? Uh, I think this is paleo. Paleo? Yeah, yes. totally paleo it's friendly. High, high carb diet? Low carb, no, this no, is low carb. carb. No, there's strawberries in here. I heard that dark chocolate is fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter that you wrap it with bread, does it? No. Just had a quick conversation with the concierge and uh, where to get a GoPro and we were going through all sorts of places on this map that might sell them, but normally they never do. And then he says, uh, well, you could go to Best Buy. Did you just say Best Buy? Yeah, where's the Best Buy? Well, who cares how far away it is? Anyway, 